Today I will talk about a special companion. Our friends from across the animal kingdom. How to utilize such a relationship with other species in a way that will bring you that cosmic energy we all crave for. First thing I want to talk about is uh, the duality. Here is a graph that uh, depicts uh, with the idea how it can drain energy or can uh, boost energy of the environment around, of the people around you, of everything around you. I want to take these episodes forward is to explain that duality in the topics I'm going to present. That way you can see both sides. It seems to me that sounds like a good thing. Uh, we will talk about companionship between us and the other species. Let's start first with a relationship that is considered a two-way street. So that is basically the most common uh, owning a pet, taking care of its need and have it as a companion through life. That allows us to channel negative energies through it as well. So it's like a, a living pillow for our sorrows. It's a relationship that has a mutual benefit, right? So, and this relationship is characterized as being stable. First of all, everything is you, but with this relationship, it becomes distinguished from either from its own species. It will have its own name, you might even dress it, the whole nine yards. You will treat it as a human. So this is uh, one way to do this thing. Uh, the situation, it's stable. This will bring you energy, cosmic energy, but it will be hard for you to... You might notice, you might not notice. Be because the relationship between you and your pet is a mutual benefit. So essentially you are in a trade here, you're trading with your animal, with your pet. Uh, you're taking something from it. It's freedom, right? You're taking its own freedom. So you, in a sense, uh, you are draining some of its awareness, its own awareness. Um, you own it. The sense of ownership is uh, is a little well. I mean, it's a little dangerous. I mean, you can build beautiful relationships, and uh, I mean. I had a pet uh, once, and it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, you can't say no to that. So that's one thing. Let's now move to the other side of the spectrum. So there's uh, there's a whole spectrum of uh, the way you treat you treat animals. Uh, so let's move to the dark side. Let's move to the dark side. Uh, you can absorb energy, that cosmic energy. You can absorb it from uh, animals quite rapidly through torture and animal cruelty. Um, and you can be creative with it. You know, just let your imagination be your guide. Imagine every cruel thing you can, you would want to see uh, and you want to inflict on that creature. And uh, you can finish it off any way you want. So it's entirely entitled to you to do anything and everything with it. There is no limits because it's you and it's an extension of you. We are all an extension of you. To some extent, let's say that you have this power and you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can absorb energy, a lot of energy. Keep in mind that this energy is not raw energy. So basically you are absorbing from the surrounding. And there is always a price for that. There are some people that will sell their soul to the devil. And it's up to you. Uh, 
it will attract energy but you have to be also you have to be careful if you get away with it uh, you will be rewarded momentarily at some point there is a cost you will pay they call it karma in a sense so you steal that energy it's basically you are stealing energy so because it's not yours so you steal that energy but uh, keep in mind that there is always a trade-off for that and you will notice it you will see things around you that happens and uh, it, it's, it, it will see as if it's like for other people it looked like a coincidence for you you will know you know what you did so you know why things are working to some extent to your benefit at least momentarily keep in mind that doesn't last for long so now I'm going to move to the other side of the spectrum and that is to boost energy to our fellow animal species enhance their awareness um, taking care of the forgotten with no return no expectation I mean your only reason to do that is to give them a good time while they're around you without any requirements or payback um, they can come and go as they want and uh, basically you don't own it or you denounce that attribute what is interesting is once you denounce it it, it will just it's uh, interesting it will come back for you so this is uh, where you boost your energy you boost your energy by taking care of the animal and when you do that what exactly is going on is when you have no expectation you treat it as as pure as possible so uh, if she or he needs something or wants something uh, you give it away right so there is no you line up with you become with an alignment you become in resonance with the animal with the species you become in resonance with them aligned with them because you're not your intention is not to drain their energy at all when you do that the awareness of the animal itself will increase brings energy to your life it's one of the ways to uh, enhance your intuition as you enhance the intuition of those animals how do you enhance the intuition of those animals you start understanding each other much better they get you you get them. just by looking just when she comes and she looks at you you know what she wants oh you want out you want this you want that see what I'm saying that that just that just doing that enhances your awareness it's almost like having a, a trainer for you just keep in mind that the animal kingdom is yours it's not just one animal all animals are yours so if, if you if this animal decides to leave goes and I mean I mean she she sometimes she wants to go out I, I open the door and it's it's her own choice so I treat her like uh, as if I'm, I would treat myself I wouldn't want to stay in a place I don't want to stay when you do that you increase the intuition and you connect better with those animals just one thing when you do this with your animal you're actually absorbing you're creating raw you're absorbing raw energy so you are create you are sort of channeling this raw energy to to duels in this life so it is never bad a bad thing it will never backfire at you and doing this you will notice similar things uh, the way that you would notice uh, on the other side of the spectrum the dark side the only thing is that you're not gonna pay a price at the end 
so basically, the, the difference between these two sides is this side gives you uh, the sense of connectedness. You connect, you feel the connection, and you decide to connect even more. But with, other, with the other side, you, it gives you the fear, sense of separation. And you decide that you want to separate even more. I think you know where this is going. Thanks for watching. Please leave me comments and tell me what you think. Thanks to Katya for her feedback. Check out her short film channel. There is a link in the description below.